Hi, my name is Dan Hopman, and I'm one of your instructional coaches in the Palmdale School District. AirServer has been around for a couple of years, and we know that teachers have been having problems with connecting and with it dropping off. And through a painstaking process, we found something to replace it, and it's called Reflector. Now, as you can see, Reflector is already loaded up on my computer. It should open when you boot up your Promethean. Um, what I like about Reflector is what it does is what you see. So, for example, I know exactly what the name of my computer is that I'm trying to attach to. So, in this case, my Promethean. You'll see the two uh, arrows right here toggling on and off the uh, full screen. That means when I attach to uh, Reflector for my iPad that it can, re it can attach full screen or minimized. And I'll show you an example of that. This fun part right here, which I love, I can record as I'm broadcasting. So for example, if I'm doing something on my iPad with science or with math or whatever it might be, I can record that and be able to share it with students. So just a really cool feature. What I like about Reflector is it seems to be a much stronger connection compared to Air Server. So drop-offs, I can't say would be is going to leave and be gone. We can't guarantee that. But what I can say is, is that it will be minimized. So on that note, let's take a look at Air Server. And what you'll see popping up on the screen here is going to be the iPad. I'm going to go ahead and swipe down and I'm going to hit the uh, screen mirroring. And as you can see, it's popping up with the correct number 18-TCH.EDTC-01L. And I'm going to go ahead and attach. Now, once I start streaming to my computer, you'll see a code pop up on the laptop. You can see on the iPad, it's already asking for it. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And what you'll see up on the computer is what you'll see on the iPad. There we go. Now, if you remember when I first showed you the reflector right here, there was the ma the maximization or the full screen of the iPad. If I turn that on, which I just did, notice everything on my desktop disappeared. I only see the iPad. If I want to turn that off, I'll just right click and turn off full screen. And now I can see my desktop. So if you're flipping back and forth between applications, that's a great tool to use. Now, most of the settings while I'm inside of Air Server will happen right here on the Promethean. So again, if I right click up pops my menu, I can turn on full screen. I'll pop it back up again. Um, I can pop up that it's always on top. So what that means is if I pull up, say, a Google Chrome website, if I pull up a smart notebook, it will stay behind my iPad at all times. However, if I turn it off, like I just did, there we go. I can actually pull it out of full screen and I can open up a website right in front of it. But notice how the iPad does not lose connection. There we go. There's our Pondo website. However, it's still going. There we go. And there's the iPad. If I want to go back to full screen, I'll just right click on it and full screen. And if you notice that it goes away, that website is still open behind it. There it is. I'll go ahead and turn it back onto full screen. Let's take a look at the other menus here. I know this seems like a very silly thing, but I like it. You can actually change your frame, which is what the what looks like an iPad behind it. So if you want to go silver, you'll see that silver edge pop in. I'll uh, put it back to space gray. You can see that change. I know it seems silly, but the kids get a dig. They just dig it. It's kind of fun. If I don't want the frame at all, I can just turn it on and all I get is the iPad. I can also have it go to default size, but when you notice that it goes to default, it sometimes will be a lot smaller than it needs to be, especially on the Promethean, or if I want it best for high DPI, notice how it shrinks. So I wanna make sure that this stays at either default or full or fill the screen. Now I can also force rotation. What that means is like right now, if I were to take the iPad and you'll see it right there on the right hand side again. So if I turn it, notice it turns on the computer as well. 
turn it back, it flips around as well. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. What I also like about it is the fact that you can also disconnect your device right here. You don't have to do it from the iPad. So if you put your iPad down and you're up at the Promethean, you can actually do that from the front. And lastly, if you notice way down here, you'll see the little camera. That means I can take a screenshot of whatever's on my iPad. So that's really cool. So that really is all you really need to know about um, broadcasting with the iPads. It's super easy. I just want to kind of show you a little bit on the iPad of what kind of pops up and how quick it is. Um, I'm not doing anything that is, you know, out of the ordinary. I'm, if you notice it, for the most part, it's right up against it. It's going really quick. Um, there's very little delay. Um, let me pull up Google Classroom so you can see how that pops up. There we go. Small delay there, but that's not a big deal. I'll go and get started. It's going to ask me to sign in. So again, a lot of those delays you can't really get rid of, but you can at least mitigate them. So you can make them a little bit smaller. You don't have to make them as big. If I want to pull up Zoom, it'll take a second because Zoom's a big program. There we go. And then there's Zoom, and you can see how quick it goes. I can just sign right in, and it'll catch right up. I want to close that. If I'm done, I can either swipe down from the top and disconnect here, or again, right click and disconnect device. So again, how you know whether or not reflector is open and ready to go. If you see it, it's ready to go. Down here on the in the toolbar down here at the bottom, if it's open, you'll see it here. That's how you know it's ready to go. If it's not open, so let me go ahead and close this. There we go. You'll either see an icon on your desktop. You'll see an icon down here in the taskbar down at the bottom, or you'll see it somewhere in your Windows menu. There's Reflector 4, and then there's Reflector. I also put it right here in the Smart in the Start menu, but that's up to you. Open it back up. There we go. So really, super easy. Uh, it should be very seamless from moving over from Air Server, but as always, if you have any questions about how to use it, please reach out to your site tech liaison or your instructional coach, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Have a great day.